All right, foxes. Happy Labor Day. I hope you guys had a great Labor Day weekend. Um, if you're new, I'm Mrs. Robertson, um, one of the vice principals at Farmdale. We're here for another weekly announcement. We have a lot of announcements this week, and um, we also have a lot of celebrating to do. So let's get started. <clears throat> So we're in September. Responsibility is our word for the month. Responsibility is about doing the things we are supposed to do and accepting the positive or negative outcomes of our actions. Our Farmdale character strategy is ask permission to do something. All right, the winners for our student council elections. Congratulations to everybody. Spirit Day Coordinator, Aurora S., Event Coordinator, Amy F., Secretary, Camila Z., Treasurer, Giselle X., <clears throat> Vice President, Scott I. S., and our President for the 2023-2024 school year is London H. And congratulations to everyone who um, put in to become one of these um, positions, but hey, we're super proud of all of you. Congratulations to um, the six of you that were elected. Student council meeting for all class representatives will be Thursday morning in the library at eight o'clock in the morning. And then uh, the first executive board meeting for student council will be Tuesday, September 5th, which is today, after school from 2.30 to 3.30 in Miss Cecil's classroom. All right, our cross-country team for the 2023-2024 school year. Second grade, Jesse O, Sebastian M, Ian C, Mateo C, Josie Z, Aria B, Brianna E. Third grade, Jake J, Rusty G, Ricardo C, Garrett C, Miguel E, Alejandra R, Giselle S, Vianney Z. Fourth grade, we have Angel D, Ben J, Andrew X, Max C, Cecilia B, Genesis B, Alondra F, Yaseline. And for fifth grade, Adrian K, Alex A, Alejandro A, Oliver J, London H, Camila Z, Skyly C, Sky S, and Lizbeth D. Congratulations. This will be our cross country team. For all of you that cho chose to try out, you all did amazing. Keep in mind, we only had so many spots to fill and, um, don't give up. Try again um, next year and um, just keep practicing. There will not be a minimum day this week, so make sure you let your parents know. You They will need to pick you up at 2.30 on Wednesday. All right, we've gone over this, I think, every week. Remember, if it doesn't belong to you, just leave it alone. We should not see you in any backpacks unless it is your backpack and... Um, Remember, uh, there are cameras out there and um, we will pull, pull the footage if we have missing items from backpacks. Crocs, this was in last week's announcement as well. Yes, you can wear them, but they need to be in sport, sport mode, which means the strap on the back needs to be um, around your heel. If you uh, have PE, you may not wear Crocs, so if you have Crocs on, make sure you have a pair of tennis shoes in your backpack. Uh, playground equipment. This really has to do with all of grade levels, but fifth grade, you are the last ones on the playground and the equipment is still being left on the blacktop. So fifth grade, if you could do us a favor and help get all that equipment picked up before you head into class, that would be awesome. All grade levels, it is your responsibility, though, to put the equipment away before you go back to class. We should not have to rely on fifth grade to do this. Equipment is a privilege, and it can be taken away. Soccer. 
Um, yeah, so we are still struggling with soccer, making good choices on the soccer field. You may have noticed that we pulled the soccer balls from the Fox box at lunch last week. We are going to work on setting rules and sharing them with students. Once that is complete, we will slowly begin to reintroduce soccer to the grade levels who are demonstrating the most responsibility. Examples of some of the rules that need to be followed to prevent injury. Shoes must be worn at all times. We have students constantly removing their shoes to play soccer. This is not safe. Do not stand in the goal. Lots of students are just standing in the goal while others are trying to kick the ball in the goal. If you are standing there without looking, the ball might hit you. So we're gonna work on some more rules. There will not be soccer um, on the field this week as we begin to develop the rules and share the rules with your teacher and all of you. Um, Moana tryouts or auditions um, will be coming up. It is open to fourth and fifth grade students along with the Weaver students. The Farmdale auditions, if you are in fourth and fifth grade, um, there will be a meeting that will take place on Thursday, September 7th at 2.40 to 4.10 on the stage. You must have a parent signed permission slip the Farmdale permission slips can be picked up from Mrs. Hogue in room 40. And the Moana play will be in theaters February 27th through March 2nd. All right, Grandparents Day is around the corner. It is Friday, September 8th. You should have received a copy of this flyer to share with your families. We can't wait to see your grandparents on Friday for donuts and coffee. So if you are in kindergarten and first grade and your um, a grandparent wants or yeah, grandparent wants to come um, share donuts and coffee, uh, that will be 845 to 915 in the cafeteria. Second and third grade, you will be sharing donuts from 935 to 1015 and fourth and fifth from 1015 to 1045. All right, positive office referrals. We have a lot to celebrate here. Leo from Miss Carlos's class held the door open for a teacher. He also fixed a poster that had fallen off the wall as he was heading back to class. And that poster happened to belong to London H. Um, she was running for um, president and he fixed her poster. So London, if you see Leo around, give him a shout out and a thank you. Uh, Jose from Miss Luna's class has been really stepping it up. He has been helping others, maintaining focus, demonstrating confidence, and reaching new levels. Great job, Jose. <clears throat> Charles from Mrs. Zhang's class went out of his way to help a lost and wandering first grader find his way back to class. Great job, Charles. And Analia is remembering the class rules and has shown respect without reminders. She reached rock star status in my classroom. Live the Creed um, has well has been has been going on. Every class has a chance to earn Live the Creed certificates. Um, let's take a look at the standings. Remember, you want to get to seven. All right, so the seven is the yellow line, um, the highlighted area. Uh, looks like if you have four, you are in the lead. So Andrews, Birnbaum, Carlos, Magania, and Newville, and Vu. Great job, everyone. Keep it up. All right, Fox is on time. We have a new grade level in the lead. Way to go, fourth grade. You made huge gains last week. All Foxes are doing great getting to school. Fourth grade, you are at 96.13%. So awesome job there. And Miss Watson is so proud of Kariana for earning all her stickers last week. Great work, Kariana. <clears throat> and this is a little glimpse as to what took place Thursday and Friday of last week. Cross-country tryouts. 
Ms. Gomez is going to be an amazing coach. Thank you all for trying out, and I can't wait to start working with our team of runners. All right, some more shout outs. Ms. Gomez's class, perfect attendance on 828. Awesome job. Ms. Charo, perfect attendance 828, 830, 831, and 9-1. Great job. Ms. Newville's class, um, there we go. Miss Newville's class, sorry guys, I just noticed that camera was like weird. Um, 831 and 91, great job there. And Miss Gomez's class got perfect attendance on 831, great job. Mr. Downey, wow, four days in one week, 828, 829, and 8.30 and 9.1. Great job, you guys. All right, and Miss Chara's class has a lot to celebrate. Her class spelled foxes on time, and we will have a snow cone party next week. Her class also had 100% complete homework on Friday, September 1st, and are earning bingo chips to make a bingo for a homework-free day. Well, that's fun. And Ms. Charo would also like to give a shout out to Emily, Vanity, Ciro, and Sophia for completing their homework every day in August. These students will be, will be invited to Ms. Charo's homework club lunch this Friday. All right, are we ready for our kindness ticket winners? Let's see. I thought Ms. Quinn was going to come in and help me. Ms. Quinn? She's going to draw the tickets today. Are you guys ready? She has the little kindness tickets. She's drawing the first one. Who do we have, Miss Quinn? Um, Kayla from Miss Taro's class. Awesome, Kayla. I will give that to Miss um, Spillman and she'll bring your prize to you on Wednesday. Who um, else? Avani from Miss Johnson's class. All right, Avani. Awesome. And again, we'll have your prize on Wednesday. And who's our last one, Miss Quinn? Um, Liam from oh. Miss Garcia's class. Oh, congratulations, Liam. All right. Remember, um, being kind is easy. You guys all have such goodness inside of you and a lot of great qualities to share with the foxes at Farmdale. Quote of the week, the beautiful thing about learning is that no one can take it away from you. And remember to get your birthday books. If your birthday is this week, Miss McCrary um, will have your books for you in the library. And we are going to do our Fox Creed. But first, remember Miss Spillman, Miss Villarreal and myself are always here for you. Um, Fox is up. Let's do our Fox Creed and then we're going to take a look at birthdays, okay? To be a fox, repeat in your mind, be safe, be responsible, be respectful, and